So in CS50, we learn about a variety of sorting and searching algorithms. And sometimes it can be a little tricky to keep track of what algorithm does what. Um, we've really only skimmed the surface, too. There are many other searching and sorting algorithms. So in this video, let's just take a, a few minutes to try and distill each algorithm down to its core elements so you can remember the most important information about them and be able to articulate the differences if necessary. The first is selection sort. The basic idea behind selection sort is find the smallest unsorted element in an array and swap it with the first unsorted element of that array. We said that the worst case runtime of that was n squared. And if you want to recall why, take a look at the selection sort video. The best case runtime is also n squared. Bubble sort, the idea behind that one is to swap adjacent pairs. So that's the key word that helps you remember the difference here. Selection sort is so far find the smallest. Bubble sort is swap adjacent pairs. We swap adjacent pairs of elements if they are out of order, which effectively bubbles larger elements to the right. And at the same time, it also begins to move smaller elements to the left. The worst case runtime of bubble sort is n squared. The best case runtime of bubble sort is n. Because in that situation, we, don't actually, we might not need to make any swaps at all. We only have to make one pass across all n elements. In insertion sort, the basic idea here is shifting. That's the key word for insertion sort. We're going to step once through the array from left to right. And as we do, we're going to shift elements we've already seen to make room for smaller ones that need to fit somewhere back in that sorted portion. So we build the sorted array one element at a time, left to right, and we shift things to make room. The worst case runtime of insertion sort is n squared. The best case runtime is n. Merge sort, the keyword here is split and merge. We split the full array, whether it's six elements, eight elements, 10,000 elements. We split it down by half, by half, by half until we have an array of n one element arrays, a set of n one element arrays. So we started with one 1,000 element array, and we get to the point where we have 1,000 one element arrays. Then we begin to merge those subarrays back together in the correct order. So we take two one element arrays and create a two element array. We take two two element arrays and create a four element array, and so on and so on until we've again rebuilt one n element array. The worst case runtime of merge sort is n times log n. We have n elements, but this recombining process is, takes log n steps to get back to a full array. The best case runtime is also n log n, because this process doesn't really care whether the array was sorted or not to start with. The process is the same. There's no way to short circuit things. So n log n in the worst case, n log n in the best case. We also talked about two searching algorithms. So linear search is about iterating. We proceed across the array once from left to right, trying to find the number that we're looking for. The worst case runtime is big O of n. It might take us to iterating across every single element to find the element we're looking for either in the last position or not at all. But we can't confirm that until we've looked at everything. In the best case, we find it immediately. The best case runtime of linear search is omega of 1. Lastly, there was binary search, which requires a sorted array. Remember, that's a very important consideration when working with binary search. It's a prerequisite to using it. The array that you're looking through must be sorted. Otherwise, the key word is divide and conquer. Split the array into half and eliminate half of the elements every time as you proceed through. Because of this divide and conquer and splitting things in half approach, the worst case runtime of binary search is log n, which is substantially better than linear search's n. The best case runtime is still 1. We might find it immediately the first time we make a division. But again, remember that although binary search is substantially better than linear search by, be, by virtue of being log n versus n, you might have to go through the work of sorting your array first, which might make it less effective depending on the size of the array being sorted. I'm Doug Lloyd. This is CS50.